Okay. Hello, my name is Tom Kenny, and in this speech, I'm going to tell you the steps needed in order to play golf. The golf season is approaching quickly, and I, for one, am pretty excited to get back on the course. If you haven't played golf before, one thing you should know is that there are a very specific and important set of rules that you must follow for every shot. Uh, I'm not going to be able to go over every rule, but I am going to talk about the major ones that will apply to you if you ever do find yourself on the golf course. The speech will inform you of the basic rules of golf and also provide some pointers to help you become a better golfer. First off, you should know what the game of golf is all about. The purpose of the game is to use your clubs to hit a ball into a hole in the least amount of shots as possible. There are three different types of holes, par threes, par fours, and par fives. Each hole's par is the amount of shots that you're supposed to use to get the ball into the hole. Now, for example, let's say you use two strokes on a par three. Since you only used two of your three allowed shots on that hole, you earned a birdie. Um, a birdie simply means that you were one stroke under par. If you scored a four on that same par three, you would end up with a bogey, which means one stroke over par. It is possible to have double, triple, or even quadruple bogeys, but no one's ever very happy about that. If someone were to ever get a hole in one on a par three, it would technically be considered an eagle because an eagle is two under par, whereas a birdie is one under par. So now that you know the basics of the game, I'm going to get a little more in depth and talk about specific rules. For example, the first shot you take off every hole is from the tee box. Each hole has different tee boxes for players corresponding to how good of a golfer they are. After you hit from the tee box, you cannot physically touch your ball again until it is on the green, which is the place where you putt from. If you do touch your ball, it is considered a one-stroke penalty. The only thing that can touch your ball when it is not on the tee box or on the green is your club. Um, sometimes there are hazards on the golf course. A hazard could be anything from, a water, from water to a sand trap. If you hit your ball into the water, it is considered a one-stroke penalty, and you move the ball to where it entered the water. If you hit your ball into a sand trap, you cannot touch your ball to the ground, or it is also considered a one-stroke penalty. Um, all of those rules are basically the core rules of the game and the ones you need to know if you want to play, but there's so much more to golf than just the rules. The hardest part about golf is trying to create the shot you need in order to get the ball as close to the hole as possible. Um, when you are on the golf course, you get to keep 14 clubs in your bag at all times. Each club has a specific length that you should hit it from. Um, for example, if I were 120 yards away from a hole, I would use my pitching wedge. And if I were 200 yards away from the hole, I would use my 5-iron. Uh, knowing what club to hit at different situations comes purely from experience and is probably the most important part of golf. So in conclusion, golf is a game that most people have a love-hate relationship with. I love golf because the objective is simple, but the, but the process is one of the most challenging things to do in the world. In this speech, I informed you about the rules of golf and what the game is all about. I then went on to talk a little more in depth about some specific rules that you need to know. Finally, I talked about how to choose your club and gave some pointers on what you should be thinking of before every shot. Um, I, for one, cannot wait for the golf season to start, and I hope you enjoyed my speech.